UNICEF has released a report warning more than 2.5 million people in Nigeria are in need of humanitarian assistance. 60% of them are children and are at increased risk of waterborne diseases and malnutrition due to the most severe flooding in the past decade. Rainfall is expected to continue for several weeks. Humanitarian needs are also expected to rise. Here's a report from Nigeria. Nigeria recently experienced its worst ever floods in decades. Experts say that these devastating floods are the result of human activity that is exacerbating the climate change. According to a UN report, floods in Nigeria have affected over 3.2 million people, while over 1.4 million are still displaced. The UN report says that flooding that ravaged 34 states in the country can increase the risk of waterborne diseases. The international body has further said that 4.1 million people are at a risk of experiencing severe food insecurity and 1.74 million children under five are projected to suffer from acute malnutrition in 2022. This year flood is too much, so it used to enter our building things as well as uh, sabotage and uh, everything spoiled so our children we can manage the water anyhow the water penetrate we can manage it till the, the flood go back the government officials say that the un data could be underestimated and the scale of devastation could be even bigger they admit that immediate actions is needed to stop future disasters associated with flooding and African leaders must stand united in confronting the West on the effects of global warming. For now, it is very, very bad. You know, in some areas of the state, in some areas of the state, it was worse than others. You know, in some areas, it was, it covered the houses to the top. In some areas, it covered the houses to the wind level. While some areas are close up to the road, it's just, you know, what's in the compound and on the roadside. So basically, it was very bad. A lot of people were displaced. Experts say that a number of factors are responsible for the devastation. The above average rainfall due to global warming, overflowing dam in neighboring Cameroon, and poor drainage infrastructure in the country resulted in the recent floods. According to the United Nations, seasonal rains and floods are severely impacting countries in the West and Central Africa. Beyond the fact that we have global warming and other challenges, we believe that when the needful is done on the part of the federal government and even some of the state governments, especially in the area of clearing of ch channels, canals, uh, a lot of those water, like I said, will be absorbed and it will create the needed solution to a very large extent of problem. We're in the Koi Koi community of Lagos, Nigeria, where some Nigerians are still grappling with the losses that accompanied the flood. Well, this year's flood has been described as the worst in decades, even as the international community have warned of, of more disasters that might accompany the flooding, like food insecurity, uh, increase in the number of displaced persons, and diseases that accompany flood situations like this. They've called on both public and private partners to offer help to victims of the flood as it recedes. Uh, from Lagos, Nigeria, Louisa Olani, We On, World is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.